Welcome back to Roosters Radio. And Roosters fans, we've got a very special guest for you right now. He's actually been at the club 10 years. I cannot believe that. Played 160 first grade games. He's won three premierships. The first all the way back in 2016, the Holden Cup. What a game that was. Then, of course, he was part of that back-to-back premierships in 2018, 2019. He's done everything in the game. He's represented his country. Voted the best player in rugby league. There's not much left for him to do really in rugby league. It's a very warm Roosters Radio welcome, Joey Manu. Joey, welcome back. Welcome, Joey. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. It's good to be back, man. Wow. <laughs> Ten years at the club. That's amazing. <laughs> How old were you when you arrived? Um, I was about 16. Oh, yeah, 16. Crazy. Um, Sort of flew over like just for little camps and that yeah. while I was at school and then... um. Yeah, the following year I sort of came over and um, settled down here and I was like 17, um, living here in Sydney mm. and yeah, it's gone fast, eh? Never but looked back, hey? Yeah, it's been <laughs> the you best. Know, you know, it's funny, Joey, because we've had that conversation when we've, you know, you've shared that journey from Tokoroa coming yeah. down on a Friday and jumping on, your parents would drive, or drive you down, you jump on a plane, play footy, miss school on a Friday, come back. I mean, if you think about it, that 16, 17 year old kid looking back now, you must pinch yourself when you, you're standing here, you know, being with, I just went through all your accolades. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, you don't really, uh, I guess when you're in the middle of it, you don't really get to look back too much. Um, you sort of just focus on the now and then, um, yeah, I guess sometimes when you bring up stuff like that or um, you get moments to talk about, it's sort of like, yes, yeah, like so surreal. You see how far you've come, uh, you see where you've come from and uh, the journey of it all. Um, but it's just, yeah, it's just the real buzz of, um, I guess, being... Um, coming to this club when I was that, that age and um, I was, I've just loved every every moment of it. I suppose it's a real asset to the young boys in the club now as well um, because you can be such a mentor for these young boys that are coming through. I know you have um, a lot to do with Suali'i and you two get on a bit of banter there. Siwa's in the gang too. Yeah, yeah. There's a little crew there. So, um, there's a bit of a crew. <laughs> but just your experience for those boys yeah. would have been great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think um, you sort of obviously been here over the years, you learn um, – like sort of the history of the club and um, sort of just uh, the ways of trying to be a Roosters player and I think he's, I just sort of passed my knowledge on and obviously they've got similar backgrounds and a lot of the young kids coming through especially like Polynesian boys um, or like Kiwis coming over you know you just try to help them out and you know what they're sort of going through when they're at that age and um, you just share that knowledge with them and experience and um, just do the best to help them out. Well, now you've got to share the experience with your own little one, Joey. Oh, yeah. wow. Congratulations, mate. <laughs> Thank you. Um, congratulations. That's such good news. Obviously, it was a massive thing just before Vegas, so we're going to really touch on that. But, um, yeah, Lelia Moana, what a beautiful name. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, um, yeah, she's beautiful. Um, she, yeah, it's a great name, um, obviously. Um, I didn't really pick it out. The, <laughs> the wife, Tyrell yeah, gets all the Tyrell, um, <laughs> she picked the first name, and I sort of, um, I got some relation on the second name with some family. Um, so, yeah, it was, um, yeah, no, she's just beautiful. I'm just enjoying every moment, every moment of um, being a father, and um, just looking forward to um, the journey ahead. Yeah. Speaking of journeys, it must have been one hell of a journey a week out from the trip because there was talk. You're going, you weren't going, yeah. you're going to have to have a talk to the boss. <laughs> you know, can you just talk us through that, that week leading up to Vegas? Yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah, it was definitely a different week of preparing for a game. <laughs> um, I think uh, we sort of had a plan um, pretty early with Robbo, um, and he was pretty open about, you know, when baby's born. Um, sort of like giving me an end date of when I can fly out because the main priority was just being there for the birth and um, I didn't want to miss that um, so there's no chance I was missing that but yeah we had a plan but then um, you know it was just sort of like it's hard to sort of like know when she's actually going to come and Saturday was uh, the cutoff day um, if she didn't come on Saturday then I would have stayed home so uh, yeah Saturday early Saturday morning and um, yeah things started getting picking up a bit and then um, yeah she came um, but I felt like yeah, I was never like once at that like for the Friday I was like, no, she's probably not gonna come. Yeah. So like, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be going over to Vegas and not seeing all the boys having a mad time. I was like, oh, that's all right. Surely you're taking the walks around Centennial yeah, Park right. and trying to be the best. I was trying everything, <laughs> eh? <laughs> giving her massages. Yeah. So, uh, everyone was giving me like tips like, yeah, how, like yeah. different things, but um yeah, I'm glad it worked out because um, it was a good time. But um yeah, I think it was just it was it was definitely hard to um know where I was going and then even when she came I was like she came on that Saturday I was like 
like, I just didn't want to leave because just to help the wife out and then just make sure everything's good because it was only like two days later that I had to leave, which was my latest flight was that Tuesday. So mm. I was just like, yeah, like I can't leave them now, like after everything they've they've been doing. And then, um, yeah, Robert sort of just forced me to get on the plane pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, man, I got, I got to go, okay, got to go do some work. But um, that nah, ended up working out good. Um, she was, she came around happy and she, she had family that were helping her out. So cool. it was good. But it must have been tough for you personally because, yeah. you know, as a, as a parent myself mm. and Bells as a mum and, you know, I've got two daughters. That, those first couple of days, right, they're so special. These babies are so small. Yeah. I mean, to go to the other side of the world, it, it must have been a real, like, struggle to kind of, as you say, go to work. Yeah, yeah, no, it was. I definitely found it, found it, found it hard. It was, um, it was definitely tough. Like, me, I'm, I'm a big family man. and Big time, yeah. I just, mm. I just felt like I was sort of leaving my wife there, like, just because she been through all that you know pain yeah. and um just the arrival like obviously being there with baby but just trying to help her out and especially like those late nights where she needed her needed hands and i was just like well, i felt bad for leaving <laughs> so i think you've done lots yeah. of catch up yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> been changing nappies i've been doing it all. i was gonna well, say yeah. well, let, let's, let's hop straight into that so how's it been since you've been back has she gone there you go yeah you no nah, well, i came straight back and i was i had to go straight into work straight into it. <laughs> the but, jet lag just yeah, keeps going yeah, but i was it was good though like she's she's definitely like um i don't know it's sort of like it's a different feeling like Absolutely. every time i come home it's just like that's my main sort of priority now and it's sort of um i just enjoy it all like uh, even though like you don't want to do stuff sometimes it's just like i'm just loving it at the moment so yeah it's mm. been real good well you're definitely beaming so like it, it's yeah. such an amazing <laughs> experience so well done mate thank you mate let's talk about vegas so you arrive yeah you get there you're straight into training uh, from the footballer's perspective how was the experience yeah no it was good um the boys were in LA for like a week, week before. Um, so they left on the Wednesday before, and I was coming over on the Tuesday. So I touched down on LA for for the one that one day, and um, pretty much straight on out onto training. But you know um, we got good staff here, which sort of built um, me up for that. But the boys looked fit as soon as I got there. They already like they were, you know they you could see the focus um, in the playing group, the talk. Um, so they knew what they had to do, and then. They had like a lot of good experiences that they were saying that they've been doing like basketball games, a few good dinners out, and just looked like everyone was enjoying the time. Um, so yeah, I was just, I felt like everyone was just in a good good mood, and um, I was really happy to join that that crew. And then yeah, shot over to Vegas and um, touched down there, and it was it was a good vibe there. Like obviously um, everyone coming over, um, like a lot of Australian fans, New Zealand's New Zealanders, and like it was just you could just feel the vibe and. Yeah, it felt like a big game sort of sort of thing and um obviously playing it um that stadium was um, pretty special so you know everyone knew that was a big game and yeah i was just um happy to be there and just um i was just keen to play so it was good just from a fan from a fan's perspective it, it had a semi-final feel to it mm. yeah for, from a from you know from where you were standing did it feel that as well yeah like, you wouldn't have known it was round one right no nah, no nah, like yeah that's what i was saying like leading up to it, I was like yeah it sort of feels like you got that feeling in your gut where it's yeah like the the crowd's buzzing like we went to a fan day like a few days before and it was packed out everywhere um and then you, you know you have at the stadium you can just tell like there's media everywhere so it's sort of it did have that vibe to it like a little like um semi-final type vibe um which you know like is, i love those games it's sort of <laughs> something to get up for like um it's just yeah it's really um cool but yeah it definitely felt like that it's kind of like a combination as well. So it was like a finals game, but also like a mid-season camp as such because yep. you're all together, you're eating together, sleeping together, you know, um, training yeah. together. So it, it must have been really great for, for um, the relationship between you all for the beginning of the season. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think it's good. I think it was good that we done it on our first game. Mm -hmm. or we, um, like all the boys, a, lot of, a few new boys just come into the crew and um, obviously a, a few that's still been there for a while, but... You, you get a, a lot of time to spend with um, good mates and you're not just always doing footy stuff as you know like I said they're, they're experiencing um, basketball games together and going out to um, Beverly Hills for dinner or something like that and you, you get to experience um, yeah life stuff too with some of your best mates and um, it sort of just creates that bond and you just yeah you just enjoy it so I think um, doing that early um, in the season is definitely good and I feel mm -hmm. like um, we can take some of that and 
like hold on to it here. Um, and then you then. get to go home and change nappies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Mate, the game. Uh, I mean, you had a blind eye. I mean, Teddy, yourself, Victor Radley, we had a fan poll, you know, for the, the Nick Politis medal. You're in second place at the moment, Joey, just so you know. <laughs> that flick pass, mate. Talk us through that because I don't think I've ever seen I've a seen around the corner <laughs> flick pass. Around you know, the head. Sort around of the head. I, I, I mean, what, what were you thinking? Oh, um, yeah. Well, I was just, eyes up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, I was just hoping I'd get the ball and see what threw me a good pass and then. Yeah, I was looking at, um, I think it was Cobbo. He was, he was on the wing sort of defending at the time. It was a broken line. And um, so I was just seeing his hips facing out. So I knew I had to just dummy um, and take that run. But I thought I was going to fend off. Um, I think it was Jesse Arthurs. I thought, I thought I was going to fend them off and just go through. Um, but he, he came up with a great tackle on me, having my arm back. And then um, I knew my right arm was free. And so I just had to get it um, around the corner a bit and then, he sort of twisted me, but I already sort of had that motion <laughs> of flicking in. Um, I was just glad it landed. Hey, if, I, if I ruined it, man, I would have been getting sprayed. Well, <laughs> well mate, I mean, it landed. That was the first part, but it was that good you tried it again. <laughs> yeah, I tried. I tried it again. I tried it again. I was. Um, I should have let that one go a little, a little bit earlier. But <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I mean, it was good. great to show them the skill over there, wasn't it? You yeah. know, of, of rugby league and what can what can happen. Yeah, absolutely. But um, and the performance. We've spoken uh, to the playing group, you know, at the launch, and everyone's talking about the preseason. Mm. What was your experience like preseason? Because everyone's like, everyone looks fit, everyone looks big and strong. Yeah. You know, what was your experience like? I hated it, eh? <laughs> 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 no, it was, um, yeah, it was a grind, man. It was, um, uh, they always are. They always tough. Um, you know, you know what you're in for. Long days, um, mainly fitness on the field and strength in the gym and. That, um, that's what it was but I feel like yeah just obviously new um, strength um, and conditioning coach uh, guy here so he sort of you know stayed on top of that like it was sort of every day was a was a grind and um, I felt like that's all we needed and um, obviously we've got a long season now but I think just the mentality of just working hard um, every day uh, we've always sort of had that but yeah, you got reminded of that, especially on those tough days. Yeah. Do you think because there was no internationals at the end of the year, uh, you know, it wasn't a disruptive, we didn't have World Club mm. Challenges. Like if you go back over the last couple mm. of years, we've had World Club Challenges, there's been internationals at the end of the yeah. year. Like I know the Kiwis had a couple of games. Yeah. But it feels like everyone got to have a, a bit of a break around Christmas and then they just got in and ripped in. And, and you know, the, the proof was in that performance there in America. I thought, you know, you looked fitter. Yeah, no, nah, definitely help. Like, I don't know about the other boys, but me personally, was sort of we had like yeah, like you said, we had only had like two weeks in in uh, internationals, and then the year before was like World Cup, and then yeah, World Club challenges and all that. So um, sort of it definitely helped. Like just um, sort of having that back end of the year, um, just chilling, and um, everyone sort of knew the focus there of um, last year was disappointing how we finished. So everyone knew they were going to have to work hard, and um, yeah, we definitely came in. Um, fresh and ready to go and it's been uh, it's been good in your 10 years at the roosters is it the fittest up there with the fittest you've been um yeah i think so even, i think yeah <laughs> oh, i hope so younger. anyway no nah, yeah i think i was probably a bit fitter young younger <laughs> than, natural fitness, didn't have much weight then but um nah definitely definitely over the last few years i've definitely feel uh fitter um and stronger so um yeah, it's, it feels good. Oh, looking forward to seeing it this year. Now, mate, what we're touching on the pre-season, you had a bit of time up your sleeve? <laughs> 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 too much time. Mate. We've got too much time. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 54,000 downloads on Spotify. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I, I know you, you post something about if you get to a million. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm dancing here now. <laughs> like, there's a tune. That's great. Mate, it's I know, a banger. I know, you're a, I know you're an avid gamer. Yeah. Music. Talk to us about that passion. Um, are you a producer? Are you a rapper? Because, mate, I'm one just, question I'm going to ask you. You can't be named Joey Marnett. Like, I think of Fat Joe, Big Pun. They said he was just Fit Joe. I was actually like, that was the hard thing coming up with a name, to be honest. <laughs> I had like, I was thinking of everything, um, but I just thought, use that, you know, just everyone can find it easy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, music is, was, I don't know, it was just, I've I've always enjoyed music. It's sort of been a big part of um, myself and my family, but obviously not really making music. But then, yeah, I've had a bit of time over the, over the off season, and um, yeah, I found it fun just 
making music um, with, with some of the boys and um, now I'm getting into making, producing a bit and doing yeah. a bit of, mm. bit of my own beats and um, yeah, I'm just mucking around having fun. How did that opportunity come? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's, it's funny because obviously I'm in the gaming too yeah. and um, yeah, we're playing like this, it's like GTA but it's sort of... Um, simulated worlds and we had our own little gang on there me and my brothers yeah. <laughs> we used to do this tracks on there you, you know you're gonna have to give all this up yeah. now your dad right you, you don't know what you're in for mate uh, <laughs> you're in for a rude uh, shot uh, yeah. that gaming oh, yeah. room is gonna the be the daughter's room. room yeah it's gonna be the new playroom I'm, I'm holding on i'm holding okay, on good yeah. luck with that. <laughs> not long to have to throw it out but no yeah it sort of started there and um yeah and then one of my mates he's like a producer so he had his own little setup and then um we used to go over and make over uh, make make beats me and my brother, and yep. then um, I used to come back and show it to the boys in here, and then um, Suali, Siwa, Satili, and that they started jumping on the back of it. I saw them in the studio with you. Yeah, so, so they, are they your entourage? Yeah, we, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we got his, we got his tracks on the phone. Yeah, um, they've so I've set up my own little studio at home. Yeah, I saw it. I saw so, it on yeah. your on your on your Instagram <laughs> page. I got it all set up at home. You and got the sound treatment and all that in there too. Nah, I've like I've sort of set my I, mic up where I, I saw you yeah, got the, the blue thing. We got yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't need too much really, so I've got that. Um, and now the boys, yeah, I just roll out. Like, I just make beats. Um, and my mate helps me make beats too. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we sort of uh, we've made like a lot of tracks. So we're working on a little album, and yeah. uh, oh. hopefully in a few months I'll be ready to go. That's awesome. Like I said, have we got a couple of names up your sleeve you want to share with us? <laughs> Not <laughs> me. Oh, what's the crew like going to be called? You like yeah, it? we're still we're still <laughs> we haven't decided that. Like. <laughs> I'm still thinking I should just go solo. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking away already. Nah, nah, nah. Well, Sue is pretty good. He's he turns is he? up. Yeah, he like oh well, he's he's got the good work ethic, you know. He's, right. he's um. Who's writing the like? Who's writing the lyrics? Is this something you all share? All of us. No, nah, we, yeah, we just write our own lyrics. And it's something like we see in like the old NWA movies, where it's yeah. just the pad and paper, and we're just no, we, we're it's rhyming. Phones now it's phones. So oh, is it? We usually have the beat running. And everyone's like on their phones writing like um, their own little f- the old East and Suburbs versus Lyrical Gangster Society, <laughs> right? I love it. Yeah. Why don't you do a version of the Here Come the Roosters? Like, yeah. we, we just do a, a modern take on that. Oh, I know. Uh, Robbo's already trying to be getting us to do like team songs, but really, yeah, yeah, yeah we. Can't can't really vibe it. with that. <laughs> well, mate, you know it's just great that you got interest outside of outside of rugby league, right? Yeah, no, that's it. It's just a, it's just the hobby, just having yeah. fun. Um, we just enjoy it. Like we don't take it too seriously, really. It's not really to get out out there with rapping or yeah. make money of it. But who it's knows? Just, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who we'll knows? see what happens. <laughs> and the gaming side of thing, how's the Twitch account going? You're Twitch, a god yeah, on that thing. Nah. It's going wild. <laughs> uh, yeah, I still I still stream every now and then. Yeah. Um, I haven't streamed since baby's been here, so it doesn't look like I'll be. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I've got it like a lot going on. Actually, yeah. I've just gotten into golf too. So oh, yes. <laughs> oh, I got to pick it. something, eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah mate. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Listen, we do have a game of football. We're gonna need to talk yeah, about Sunday. Manly. They were really impressive over there in Vegas. You know, yeah. I thought with that inclusion, Luke Brooks in particular looked dangerous both mm. sides of the ruck now. Um, they're going to be tough to beat. How do we do it? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't get to watch too much of their game, but um, yeah, I heard they're pretty good and we haven't really dove into it yet, but we will um, later on in this week. Um, but yeah, they, we know what we're sort of informed. We sort of, you know, it's the start of the season and we want to focus on ourselves and how we can just improve from our last game and uh, we'll take our tips off them and how we can shut down a few um, of their key players. But um, our focus is about us getting better each week and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to going out to Manly and playing over there. It's always a good good crowd, so we're looking forward to that. I mean, like from a, a round one performance, like across one through seven, I know that we're really, really good. Where where, where can we improve? Yeah, I think um, there's a lot of improvement there. I think uh, it, was, it was definitely a good start. Um, but yeah, I think it's just sort of that constant of um, how our rooster style we want to play that. We sort of, I feel like we got our own style and uh, we just got to consistently um, bring that each game, being physical, um, owning plays and executing plays f- um, on the edges and stuff. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of lot of different ways there, but, um, yeah, we're just going to keep wanting it more. 
Or well, Brookvale Oval. Well, it's not Brookvale Oval anymore, Four is points. it? Yeah, a little bit That's different yeah, from yeah. Um, the Vegas Stadium. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just slightly. It is a good game. It's it is a good venue to watch footy. It's an old fashioned nice venue. Yeah. It's good on the and, hill and there. Sunday afternoon too. Yeah, it'll like, be a fast track. Fast yeah. track. If the weather stays, it's it's going to be yeah. a warm one. But um, yeah. Joey, before we let you go, we know it's your last season here at the Roosters, and I think I speak on behalf of all fans when we we wish you the very best. We will we'll chat to you again before the season, but mate. Um, when you when you do leave, what's the next thing? Like, we know you're going to rugby. Mm. Is the is the ambition, the dream, to, to put that black jersey on? Um, yeah, I think so. I th- it's sort of it's hard, obviously, because you want to. You, I want to go play overseas, and then um, to be in the All Black, you got to play in New Zealand, right? So that hopefully they change the rules. <laughs> 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 so I want to. Yeah, I think for me, I just want to. I think it's a good um, place just to. Uh, start learning rugby again yep. overseas um, and also experience um, life. No, no better family. place in the world. I, like, fr- I love France. And I'm, yep. sure, I'm sure your coach will be able to share some insights with you and maybe even uh, give you a few lessons along the way. Mm, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not too sure where I'll end up. Yes, yeah, FIFA France or Japan. So right. um, either one is sort of just um, the start of um, their rugby union career. And um, I guess I just want to learn the game again. And if I enjoy it, you know, I can hopefully. Um, Go for their all-black jersey. Um, if not, come back to the Roosters. Yes. Well, that's it. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Joey, mate, it's great to have you back on the show. Congratulations on becoming a dad for the very first time. Thank you. Uh, mate, we look forward to speaking to you again later in the year. Good luck on the weekend, and thank you for joining us on Roosters Radio. Let's hit it with the song. <laughs> <laughs>